Selenium. Let us understand the role of selenium in fight against coronavirus. Extensive study has been made all over the world in this pandemic period by different researchers and it has been proved that if you are avoiding severe selenium deficiency, then we can be at a lower risk and on a safer side, definitely. So what is the selenium? Selenium is basically a non-metal having atomic number 34. It's situated exactly adjacent to arsenic within the periodic table. It's a p-block element belonging to group 16 of the periodic table, having an atomic mass 78.971 gram per mole. It was discovered by Johns Jacob Berzelius in the year 1817 and it exists in various allotropic forms like red selenium, black selenium, grey selenium. Grey selenium is often called as metallic selenium as in its crystalline form, it appears like a metal. Selenium has a tendency to conduct electricity and it's so used in photocells, light meters and solar cells. Now, as far as the role of selenium in humans is concerned, it is used to treat and prevent selenium deficiency. It has an anti-cancer properties. It acts as an aid to treat Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is an autoimmune disorder of thyroid. It's used to treat high cholesterol. It is essential for thyroid hormone metabolism within the body. It's used in the treatment of Keshan's disease. Keshan's disease is a type of a heart disease. It's also used for treatment of Cashenbeck disease, which is a type of arthritis resulting in pain, swelling, and loss of motion in the joints and most importantly it helps for strengthening of the immune system. The amount of selenium in different foods depend on the amount of selenium in the soil where the food is grown. So definitely if there is selenium deficiency within the soil then it will, re it will be more prominent within the civilization which exists in that area right so selenium deficiency becomes more prominent in certain parts of the world where there are no favorable conditions so as to provide the requisite amount of selenium within the soil and indirectly to the foods certain factors can make the absorption of selenium more difficult say for instance if a person is on dialysis or if a person is HIV infected or if a person is have suffering with gastrointestinal disorders, then the selenium absorption is difficult. One of the recent research reports published in Nutrients say that selenium deficiency is a noted risk factor for viral infections like COVID-19. So it's most important for us to avoid severe selenium deficiency and it can be done by using a balanced diet or suitable supplements. Various natural sources of selenium are observed. We'll consider a few of them, say mushrooms. Mushrooms are available in different types. However, crimini and shritek mushrooms are richer in riboflavin, pantothenic acid, thiamine, vitamin B6, niacin, phosphorus, potassium, zinc, copper, manganese and it has it is a good source of selenium. Next is eggs. Eggs is a great source of vitamin D, vitamin B6, vitamin B12. It also has fat soluble vitamins like A, D, E and K full of lecithin and in addition there are certain minerals like zinc, iron, copper and selenium. Next in the list is garlic. Garlic is important source of vitamin B6, vitamin C, manganese, copper, calcium. Garlic can accumulate selenium so it can be used as a selenium supplement in the human diet. Broccoli Broccoli is having high levels of calcium and vitamin K, magnesium, zinc and phosphorus. Selenium fortified broccoli, whose scientific name has been specified within the brackets. 
It's highly suggested as a functional food for cancer prevention and it is highly effective against coronavirus due to its capacity for selenium accumulation. Next is asparagus. It's a great source of nutrients including fiber, folate and vitamin A, C and K and even vitamin B1. It's also full of minerals like zinc, manganese and selenium. Next is an aquatic food, a source of aquatic food that is salmon. Salmon is very low in saturated fat. It's good source of protein, vitamin B12, vitamin K and D and it's also good in iron and selenium. Typically, it contains 25 to 50 microgram of selenium per 100 gram serving. Not only salmon, in addition, various other aquatic fishes are good sources of selenium like yellowfin tuna. It provides us with 92 microgram of selenium per 100 gram serving. In addition, oysters, shrimp and crab also have good quantity of selenium within. Next in the list is spinach. Spinach is rich in vitamin A, vitamin C and vitamin K. It's also rich in magnesium, iron and manganese. Cooked spinach provides us with about 11 microgram of selenium per cup, which is also full of folic acid and vitamin C. Then is oats. Oats is available to us in the forms of oat cereal and oat milk. Both of them are considered as a high source of carbohydrates, dietary fiber, beta-glucanes, fat, protein, sodium, potassium, magnesium, calcium, iron and nickel. One cup of cooked oatmeal provides us with 13 microgram of selenium. Now this list is not complete here. However, you can consider a few of them like milk, yogurt, lentils, cooked beans, ham, brown rice. This all are also good sources of selenium. And if you try uh, like taking at least two to three sources on a regular basis within your diet in the form of a balanced diet, it will definitely help us fight against coronavirus in this particular pandemic situation. That's for this particular video. Thank you for watching.